the, the lines that we're making in our face are not natural lines. They're being actually formed by muscles contracting in a certain way, which leaves a wound on the skin. So what the drug is actually doing, although it's making someone look cosmetically better, it's actually preventing your skin from getting wounded. So when we weaken the muscle and those muscles can no longer contract, those lines go away not only because we're weakening the muscle, but because the wound healing process that continues once the trauma of the injury stops. Botox and Dysport are injectables that are typically treated for the areas above the eyes. So crow's feet, glabellar lines, forehead wrinkles, and things of the such. I tend to start patients, if cost is not prohibitive, in the late 20s, um, early 30s. My average age is probably 38 to 40 years old. It's about a 10 or 15 minute consult that we talk about all the different things that I can offer you and the different problems that you feel that you need addressing. And after that, whether or not we decide to do injectables on the same day would depend on a couple things. One would be on patient preference, obviously. And the second would be on things that could have a bad result, things that are blood thinners like aspirin, omega-3, fish oil. I tend to stop those about a week before injections. Typically, what most people think of with Botox and Dysport is that it's to keep older people looking younger, when actually the ideal way to use it is to keep younger people looking young forever.